I want to continue my work. I, you know, I don't want to go to the beach every day. I mean, beach is great, but I don't want to, I don't want to be in a position like, okay, I'm not teaching anymore. I'm not traveling around the world. I'm not creating or writing a new book. I'm not meeting new people and I'm retired. Okay, I go to my yoga in the morning and I drink my healthy juice and I go lie down in the sun and I, I would be bored to death. So yeah, it's fun for a week or two, but I need, I need purpose. I have to be moving. So it's interesting because it's the same energy of life, life force that has this desire in somebody that they're ready to retire and do that program. And in someone else, they were almost the same age. It's a few years younger than I am. And for me, it's like, I'm ready to go out there. I want to conquer the world. I want to keep going. I'm not ready to slow down. It's too early for me. So it's the same energy that is creating the desire in one unit, one person, and is creating a different desire in somebody else. But what I'm pointing out to and this is something that always comes back to this place for me. And is my mind comes like two weeks ago after, during the holidays that everything really slowed down. You know, I had come back from Scandinavia. It was a long haul being in, in Scandinavia. I come back to Los Angeles and I'm a little bit lost. I feel a little bit disconnected because I've been gone for so long. And the first week when I come back to the US, I'm sleeping. I was sleeping all the time, reading my book, sleeping, reading my book, sleeping, spending time with my family. You know, I'm, I have all these ideas and I want to do this and I want to do that. And I don't have any energy to do any of it. And and it comes around Christmas and it's really slow and quiet. And I'm just like, you know, I have these thoughts come to my mind that I have to do something. I have to do something. But then my body doesn't have any energy. I can't. I want to jumpstart myself. I don't have any energy. I can't do anything. And then the thoughts come that, oh, I'm such a lazy slop and and uh, I lost my purpose and I'm not doing anything and you know it's it's just what is happening in that moment okay and I, of course you know I've been around the block long enough and I teach this these things of I'm looking and I'm checking paying attention to the thought patterns and the emotions that are going through me. And I know they're valid in the moment which they're happening, but they're also not real. I know that's not who I am. And it would take a, like a little bit time to also recognizing surrendering into the moment, surrendering to what is happening. So it took like about a week. And after a week, I was like, okay, this is what's happening now. I get it. There is no energy. I don't feel like running around and doing a lot of different things. I don't have the energy. My body's saying no to me. And so I started to relax into being lazy and lying around, reading my book, or just slowing down into whatever it is. Spending time with my friends, going on a long walk, going on a long bike ride, going on a long drive of 
thinking, okay, what do I want to do in 2019? And just playing with different ideas. And also kind of like settling into what is really happening in a moment. And what was happening in a moment is like, okay, you're in this state of limbo. You're in this period that nothing is going on. And you just have to accept it. Nothing's going on. And it's kind of like, it's an, there's an old uh, saying, it's an old, uh, it's, it's uh, an example of the fisherman. It's an old seasoned fisherman who's been doing fishing for 30, 40 years. And now there's a storm going on. And so the ocean is really stormy. So what's the fisherman is doing? The fisherman is staying home. He's fixing his net, trying to make sure there's no holes in the net and, and tying up the areas of the net that is weakened. Is you know, he's checking out the boat, maybe he's painting or putting oil on the wood or whatever and he's fixing, getting things ready, taking care of his body, maybe his hands, you know, they're cracked or something, you know, from years of being in the ocean. So he's putting oil on his hands. He's spending time with his wife and his children and is waiting for the storm to go away. So the weather is good. And then he goes back into the ocean again, fishing. He's not pushing it. He's not trying to go fish in the storm. He's a seasoned fisherman. He's wise. 